Understanding Vulcan's Forge, a journey into mythology and metaphor. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase from mythology and literature, Vulcan's Forge. This expression is rich in imagery and history, and understanding it can add depth to your comprehension of English literature and expressions. Let's explore what Vulcan's Forge means, its origins, and how it's used in modern English. Vulcan, in Roman mythology, is the god of fire, metalworking, and craftsmanship. He was known for his skill in forging weapons and objects of great power and beauty. Vulcan's Forge, located beneath Mount Etna in Sicily, was where he crafted these items. The forge is often depicted as a fiery, powerful place filled with molten metal and the sounds of hammering. In literature, Vulcan's Forge is used to describe a place of intense heat, creativity, and transformation. It symbolizes a space where raw materials are shaped into something new and extraordinary. This metaphor draws on the imagery of Vulcan's mythical forge, invoking ideas of power, skill, and transformation. Throughout literature, Vulcan's Forge has been used to describe places or situations of intense activity, creativity, or pressure. In modern times, the phrase can be found in various contexts. 1. Industrial settings, referring to factories or industrial areas where intense manufacturing takes place. 2. Creative processes, describing intense periods of artistic or intellectual creativity. 3. Stressful situations, used metaphorically to describe situations where people are under a lot of pressure, akin to metals being forged. Understanding this phrase can enhance your appreciation of its use in literature, movies, and everyday language, where it adds a layer of rich, historical imagery. And that's Vulcan's Forge, for you. A term steeped in mythology, bringing images of fire, craftsmanship, and transformation into our language. Whether in literature, movies, or casual conversation, this phrase adds a touch of mythological grandeur to the English language. I hope this video has illuminated this fascinating phrase for you. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.